Hey there, Pisces. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message, so take what fits and leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home for you, just try a different message. We're going to jump right in with the Animal Spirit Oracles, and then I'm going to pull from the Lightseer's Tarot to see what's coming through for you guys. For Pisces, please and thank you, Spirit. What have we got today for Pisces? Thank you. Dolphin spirit. This and that are true. 20, which is the number of judgment. Hmm. You ever hear a conversation where two people are arguing to prove a point and technically they're both right? It's kind of what I'm getting. I feel like you're the observer in this. I don't think you're one of the people that's, you know, having a heated discussion, <laughs> but um, something about maybe you're, you're choosing, you know, you got to decide what you're going to do and you're trying to choose between the lesser evils or something. Um, both options are good for you, but which one is best? What if they're both best? What if the best one is just the one you choose to go with simply because you chose to go with it? This and that are true. Let's see what else we got for Pisces. Flamingo spirit. Yeah, wow. Embrace the in-between. I mean, there you go. There you are, the observer, seeing the big picture and being peaceful. Yeah, because, like, no matter which way you go, the truth is it's just whatever you choose. It's always whatever you choose. Sometimes choosing not to do something is the best choice to make as well. We've all got to take a personal day every now and then, right? You might be in between a conversation here or in between two different situations. You might even be in between the ending of one situation and the beginning of a new one or a cycle. Either way, as long as you're cool, calm, and collected, I think this is going to go just fine for you. Yep, exactly. Um, Kitty, look, I know you love the cards. Oh my goodness. Hi, sweetheart. Sorry, Pisces. I might have to pause for a second. She, she's been pulling cards for me the last couple of days. She's so sweet. She's our little tarot kitty. Yes. Our new rescue. Her name is Luna. She's just a baby, huh? Yes, a pretty baby. <laughs> I apologize, guys. I did mention to Libra and Aquarius, but since she's poking in for you guys, I'll mention it to you as well. There's a deck, a mini deck in my Amazon wish list. It's in the description box below if anybody would like to get her her own deck. Figured a mini one would be easier for her to work with because she's so small. Stop it. Stop. No. No, Kitty, she, I'm so sorry, you guys. Oh, my gosh. It's the last reading I have to do, sweet baby. Please stay off of the cards. Wow. So, the, obviously, something is really drawn to you guys. Cat spirits about independence. I love you so much. Will you, like, just chill with me? Can you do that instead of having to be on the cards? I don't want to have to redo their reading. Yeah. Oh, you guys, she is so precious. So yeah, there is something that is 
definitely coming to you. Something that's energetically vibrating with you. Something that is, I want to say, looking out for you as well. Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's protection. It's love. It's boundaries. I'm getting someone that sees your boundaries and has absolutely no problem respecting them. I'm getting something that matches your morals and values. Look at that. The Queen of Wands. Something passionate. Something inspiring. Something that might even keep you a little busy. Oh my gosh, the Ten of Pentacles. It could be a someone. It's part of your legacy. I'm also hearing it's your birthright. Oh, she just won't stop. I'm so, so, so sorry. I know some of you guys are going to be like, don't be sorry. <laughs> there was a time when some of you would only come for the kitties. <laughs> I don't do the the content facing me like that anymore, but anyways, a lot of independence coming your way. If this is a relationship, you guys are independently coexisting, meaning you have your life, they have theirs, but you guys, um, wow, really? But you guys are able to do your guys' nights and your girls' nights, and there's no, like, competition, there's no conflict, there's no jealousy. I'm also hearing there's no secrets. We just got the King of Cups with the Seven of Cups. Again, you guys have a lot of decisions to make. You're in between different phases and I just feel like follow your heart follow your intuition listen to how your physical body is reacting to this information and by that I mean when you're thinking about if I do this how does your physical body reacting to that and then if you think about the other situation and doing that how does your physical body react to that you know, are you getting tired thinking of one? Are you getting excited and happy and now you're smiling? It's interesting because I just said something so similar to, was it Capricorn? I think it was Capricorn. So for some of you guys, this could have to do with Capricorn energy or maybe you also have that um, in your chart. You're going to want to check that out if you feel drawn to it, though. I feel like no matter what, you can't lose. Even if there's a lot of distraction, at least it's cute. <laughs> Guys, I apologize for the kitty taking over your reading. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. <laughs> My goodness. I will see you guys in the next one. I love you. Until next time. Stay beautiful. Oh my goodness, kitty. Explain yourself. <laughs>